What is happening guys, Mike here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are looking at the 03 Lava Pomade from the Tough and Tumble lineup, which I have to say is a pomade that made me question my sanity. All right, once again, welcome back to the channel for this all new MMTV review. If this is your first time joining me here, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button and take a quick second to find and follow me on Instagram. I really appreciate you doing that. That's a huge help to me in the channel. And once again, we have the 03 Lava Pomade coming across my desk today. And again, this is made by the Tough and Tumble brand. We have looked at their 01 and 02 products before this. But according to the brand, the 03 Lava Pomade is a water-based clay pomade that offers an extreme hold and and matte finish. They also say it's sweat resistant and easy to rinse off, which does have me a bit curious, honestly, but between the sweat resistance and the, the easy wash. But just like the 01 and 02 pomades we've looked at from this brand, this too is made from volcanic material and comes in the same 3.3 ounce tin for $22 US. Looking inside the jar here, this one has a really cool look to it compared to the other two that we've explored previously. This one is all black. I think it looks really sharp, but the clay pomade inside was not quite what I was picturing honestly. I was thinking we'd have this thick, crazy, you know, Fort Knox looking clay, but actually it's quite creamy in its presentation. It's almost liquidy, actually. One thing I noticed here, too, that was a bit unexpected was that there really wasn't much stickiness at all in the initial breakdown, which is something that I was kind of assuming that I would see at this stage, considering it's an extreme hold product. Now, though, let's move on to the demo here. We are going to be running this product in clean, dry hair. No additives or pre-stylers, anything like that, just so we can see what the this does by itself and as I add in the first scoop I continue to notice the lack of stickiness and tack in there but you can see for yourself it's beginning to take over even if it doesn't really feel like it should take over this is something that I noticed right away it had something that you can't really expect just by looking or even feeling this product. It's It's got a lot of control. Now in the past, we have talked a lot about the major differences between hold and control. And a lot of the times these products are labeled extreme hold because they are super sticky or they harden up or something like that to lock your hair in place. But hardly ever do we see one with control instead of hold. And then beyond that, one with the control turned up this high. I mean, just so you guys understand too, me having this long of hair is actually actually a better testament to the products that I test because if they have large helpings of hold or control in this case, then you know it must be higher than anticipated. In other words, if the product holds well for me, then you definitely know it's got some great hold. Now though, let's check in on this product four hours into the day. We can see for sure that it's got some deflation going on there. Some of that volume has succumbed to the pressure there and gone down a little bit, especially in the front. But overall, it's not looking too bad. I did notice here that my hair is extremely soft. Like, very soft, almost like a tonic or something is in there, which was something very cool. Finally, checking in on it at eight hours, I think we just basically have a continuation of the same effect. We have some of the volume going down there, especially in the front. It's just becoming more and more natural. It's hard to say that the product has lifted out of my hair because I can move it around and still notice that there's some control still left in there, but it's definitely not as put together as it was eight hours prior, so we can't exactly say that. But I do think that there's definitely still something going on here, even at the eight hour mark. Real quick though, before we continue on with this, I want to mention these really cool tough and tumble combs too. These are something they actually sent over to me and I thought they were just really awesome. I wanted to mention them real quick. They are full metal combs and this one here is actually a barcode comb, meaning it's designed to mimic a barcode. And I believe each one that they sell is different, which is a really unique idea. They also have these perfectly sized combs here that fit in your wallet and it has some extra tools on there which is really helpful. So if you're in the market or you want to just want to check out a, a new comb, make sure you check these out. These things are very cool. Moving back over to the pomade though, talking about the scent here on this one, it features a very distinct scent that I know I've smelled before, but I really just can't seem to place it. I'm terrible with scents to begin with, but I, I just can't seem to identify what this one is. It's not fruity or it's sweet. It's almost like a, a baby powder scent to me. It's, it's not a cologne either. I think it is a little bit fresh smelling and it's not overly strong it's stronger in the can than it is when you actually put it in your hair for sure but uh, that's really all I can pinpoint on it it's really not offensive to my nose it's nothing like that I just can't really pinpoint it I guess moving over to the washout now remember I said I was a bit curious about this one being as it 
said it was both an easy rinse, but also sweat resistant. What I found when I tested this out myself was that when you use it, the pomade does turn your hands a bit black and that did take a bit of extra pressure to get off, but I didn't find that the black actually came off my hair onto anything else or dye it or you know, tint it or anything like that. Nothing like that happened. The product though in my hair did come out too with just water. It seemed like when the water hit it, it just really came out super easy. I don't, however, feel like it's sweat resistant though because when I did test it out and it was you know a little bit hot not quite as hot here as it has been but it was a bit hot I do feel like some of the product did tend to come out and move a little quicker when the moisture from the sweat actually hit the product. Bringing everything together though on this one my final verdict on this clay is that it's a very interesting one for sure and it really wasn't what I was expecting. It really made me have to just take a step back and regroup after starting this review. I had a full vision of of what this was in my mind at first. And then I used it and put it through the paces and I realized it was much different than the others in this line or even what I was expecting. I actually have to applaud them for going the route they did, which was instead of going with like a, a sticky product or something with major tack to get extreme hold, they kept it very lightweight, something very smooth with a matte finish. That being said, I do kind of wish the endurance would have been a little bit better. That's where I'd place my criticism of this product at. And as for a, an extreme hold, I don't think I would quite call it that. That personally, I'd say, you know, more of a medium or even like the firm end of medium. Obviously, in other hair types or shorter hair types, you know, finer hair, things like that, that hold strength will go up being as it was fairly good in my thick and heavy hair. As usual, though, that's just my final verdict. That's just my opinion on the product. I always encourage you to form your own opinion. And if you think you might want to check this out, the link will be in the description for you if you're interested. Thanks so much for stopping by the channel today and checking this out with me. Take it easy. I'll see you next time.